inspiration can come from so many different places. Um, Luana Rubin travels around the world. You get to go to all these amazing quilt shows. And you brought back some interesting things from the Tokyo Quilt Show. Yes, and I'm so lucky to be able to go to that you show are. every year. You are. So tell us about some of the trends you've seen and show us some of the quilts. Yes, well, this time what I brought is miniature quilts and handbags because what really struck me is that the Japanese, because they live in these small spaces, they like to work on things that are very small, very intricate. Makes perfect sense. And, of course, yeah. handbags are really a portable form of artwork. And I also brought back some images from the miniature wall hanging category. These oh. are all framed miniature pieces. They're all about 16 inches across. Amazing. Okay, so let's look at some of these because yes. the, the detail... Unbelievable. Yes, and you just have to think about the size of this as we go through. So, you know, Japanese quilting is very typical that they use vintage or saved fabrics. So vintage indigo, uh, vintage taupe, stenciled, ecot, etc. And these are two great examples here. One is kind of a, a combination, maybe a collage of some of these indigo fabrics, but with some contemporary couching and spiraling on top. Beautiful the other one, recycling, right? Yes, and then exactly. doing all that wonderful handwork on top. Exactly. And really, think about all these are done by hand. Of course, mm. when it's that small, it has to be most of the time. And a beautiful image of Mount Fuji mm. with the reflection in the water. Of course, there actually is a lake in front of Mount Fuji, mm -hmm. so that's a classic And I love how image. they fractured the image in that yes, work right with, below. With the e-cuts. Oh, yes. great. With the yarn dies. Now, this one I just adore. Yes. I think that's so innovative. It's great. And there's so many levels that you can look at. Of course, there are the faces that are looking down through the gold fish bowl. There are the painted uh, waves or spirals in the back, and then the embellished gold fish on the top right. with a very fancy frame around it. And also another sort of nature theme one is this one with the tiny, tiny little ladybugs and the little French knots and the mm. dragonflies. And of course, there's a spider and a spider web out of metallic thread. So delicate and gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Now, these two over here uh, are really some of the most intricate and tiny pieces. The one on the bottom reminds us a little bit of a Baltimore album with the flowers, right? The and so is that needle turn applique with tucked under edges? Yes, they are. Wow, that seems impossible to me. It does, and the little dots and the tiny little uh, leaves there are all needle turn. And then, of course, this one, when you look at it, you would think that it's a larger quilt. But again, think of it as 16 inches. So each tiny. of these little, uh, it's kind of like a Hawaiian design, I and think. And some it looks like some of it's embroidered and some of it's mm -hmm. appliqued. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. then all the quilting in the background, the dense quilting that really pops, even though it's black, there's another layer of texture and interest mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Now, these two here were the second and third place. And I thought this was very interesting because if you look closely at the chicken portrait, it's really <laughs> made up, the feathers are made up of little found bits, random bits of lace and crochet. Uh -huh. And then the coxcomb is made from a multicolor uh, knit piece. Is that what that is? Yeah. I would never have guessed that. That yeah. is so neat. That's great. It it's could be great. someone's glove or sock or something right, like right. that. Right, right. And this one is just sheer elegance, isn't it? Oh, it is. And you can see the tiny little lotus flower and then all the analogous colors that are and going on here. some of those here. pieces, they must be about a sixteenth of an inch. That's right. Unbelievable. It is. Yeah. And, of course, the Japanese love cute. And so I brought along two cute little quilts here. Uh, uh, one of them is the cat. And, and owls are so in right now. They are. Even, even here in the U.S., you're they, seeing a lot of owls. They are. And you can see, again, all of those found vintage uh, textures and fabrics that are used in this piece. And isn't it nice, too, the way she used lighter fabrics at the top and the darker ones at the bottom? Mm -hmm. And the branches are just beautiful in that as well. A lot of layers. Yeah, yeah. A lot of interest. And the cat, I love the, the balls or the bubbles are really great too. Right, and that is carried through with the design theme of the cat as well. Well, let's take a look next at the handbags. Okay. They, like you said, they're, they're a way to show off your handwork with mm -hmm. something that you carry around with you all the time. Right. And one thing that really strikes you when you look at these handbags, that it really shows the color sensibility of the Japanese quilters. Oh, right. The taupe, you know, the very soft earth tones. Uh, the indigo, which many of them are these vintage fabrics. Mm -hmm. And into and, the grays in some spots. Right, and yeah. the yarn dye plaids and the linens. Uh, and, you know, the beautiful texture that is used with the raw linens. So, for instance, this first piece, I have both the overall bag and a close-up shot. And I just thought, you know, the bag itself is gorgeous, but when you get close, you see oh, that Sashiko stitching. stitching has been used to create texture. It's kind of a ripply texture. It does. It looks like ripples in water. And, and the strong graphics in that, too, are also very Japanese. They are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And here's a, you know, a similar kind of color story, but this one, when you get in close, you see that there is a woven kind of a, it creates a hexagon. It's kind yeah, of so almost how, like a braid I'm trying to figure weave. out how they wove that too, because I'm looking yes. more and more, I'm trying to figure out how the heck they wove all those strips together. And I, Beautiful. I think we, you know, we've seen out there ribbon weaving that's very similar. So they took strips that were obviously turned under and woven, and then it was integrated as a panel into mm. the overall handbag. Beautiful. So over here, well, if we talk about this piece first, this was really, you know, this is another one of those cute pieces. This right. had the, the, fish peek, uh, the fish in the basket and the kitties peeking over the wall at the fish. And again, you know, you think about this as a handbag. These, these fish are maybe about three quarters of an inch. Oh, no. Tiny, tiny. And this one is very contemporary, but at the same time, very traditional. Traditional fabrics, but when you get in close, you see that these are strips that have been turned and uh, hand stitched down. And I love the color shifts here from the blues and into the greens and taupes. Very elegant. It is. And now this one is a really traditional block. Yes, and I, I thought it was so interesting. You know, log cabins and hexagons have been really a trend. Mm -hmm. And here somebody took that and put them together right. into one piece. Two and one. Right, right. Now this one has coils. It looks like they're tubes mm -hmm. that are stuffed and made mm -hmm. into coils. Uh, yes. And beads and all kinds of things going on. And the sashiko. Yes, and you can see there's a traditional sashiko stitching here uh, with the white stitching, and yet there's this very contemporary treatment of three-dimensional spiral tubes that have been stitched down. And they've also couched mm -hmm. down some of the sashiko a little bit down there in mm -hmm. that corner. Mm -hmm. This one I love because it reminds me of river pebbles, and I love all the textures in there. Mm. And the, just, just beautiful fabrics. And it is. What's interesting is the Japanese use a lot of yarn dyes and jacquards and raw linen. And so, you know, here in America, we don't always think of using those fabrics. Yeah, and right. Yet, there's so much textural and visual interest. So, yes, these are just applique, all different collection of uh, kind of taupe or black and white jacquards. And then here we have shoes in a bag. And yes. isn't that great? It is. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for bringing these. Yes, I've you're really welcome. enjoyed seeing them. A lot of times we don't get a chance to get to these shows, so it's wonderful to see the trends. My pleasure. I've really enjoyed it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.